Okay. Alright. Solving by factoring by Dominic Horta. So, to solve an equation by factoring, um, well, first, let's start on what this equation, what form this is in. It is an ABC form, which is AX to the power of 2 plus X or BX plus C. There are two strategies to finding the to solve factoring. That is diamond and box and finding the product of A and C. The box and diamond strategy is, starts with making a diamond and then working it out and then fi to find the two products and then double checking your work. <clears throat> finding the the product of A and C is more of guessing than a formula, and it works by finding the product of A and C and see what works. So you can see in this problem, I used the diamond, the box and diamond. So at the top of the box and diamond strategy, you times A by C. And you can see that the equation is um, two. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, the equation is x. The equation given is x to the power of two. Yeah, to the power of two or x squared. And our b is uh, eight, and our c is twelve. So twelve times one is 12 and at the bottom you put your B just by itself now to figure this out you have to so to to get the sides you, you um, get two answers that have that multiply to this and add it to this so first you are going to want to look at how to find 12 there you can just go through a list of like three fours or stuff like that but what you're going to want to use here is 2, 6. And then that will add up you know, to 8. If you, if you use 3, 4, it would have got to 7. So that's why you can use that. And then what, this is what you do. You plug in your A and your C. And the two uh, products you got from the diamond. at In the corners. And then you factor out. T the f uh, greatest common factor in here is 2. And the greatest... Uh, common factor. Here, oh no, not two x. Sorry. And the greatest common factor here is x. Greatest common factor two. Greatest common factor six. And this is our, this is our, our answers. Two plus uh, x plus two, and x plus six. This is your product. So here's the oh whoops uh, whoops give me a sec okay okay so here's this um so this is the other way of doing it this is x squared plus eight plus twelve so first we need to start off uh, this is easy with a because the only thing you can get out of this is x times x, but for 12 we need to find some factorable um, numbers. We can get it. We get two six, three four, and one twelve. And yeah, we already got x. So now we have to find the now we have to f uh, factor and kind of mess around with these numbers to see which one works. Um, the way we can do it is add these up to see if they. Uh, total up to our B. Yeah. And then we can, then if you just want to double check that way, you can also <clears throat> just uh, factor back up by times being X with X, 3 with 4, and then, or you can use the donut strategy, which is X times X of 4 times 3, and then X times uh, 3, and X times 4. And then you can just do the same thing over and over, and you'll find our answer is 
x squared plus 8 plus 12 and yeah this is our answer if you this is if you just want to go back and factor it back but this is the answer you'll get if you just factor it oh whoops okay for this one we get our, we're gonna find the product of a and t for uh, <coughs> x squared we just do it's the only possible thing is xx for 50 the possible answers are 50 and 1 5 and 10 and 225 so out of all the possible outcomes that we could have used the one that works is x plus 5 and x plus 10 and if you work back you will get um, x squared plus 15 x plus 50 and that was what we started off with whoops okay so this is gonna be a negative one so we have x squared minus 3 x minus 50 or 56 the first thing we're gonna do is write the diamond so we times negative 50 by l1 and that gets us negative 56 and then put our b right here and then we have to work it out we so if you do the product and you add and you the one of the possible yeah one of the possible ways of getting 56 is 9 times 6 and then uh, another thing is um, then if you add these up you get negative 3 and then of course we put our 6 and 9 right here we factor these out which is gonna be oh wait whoops I put that wrong <laughs> this should be uh, this is greatest common factor is x, greatest common factor is x. This should have been 6 and this should have been 9. Sorry for the mistake, but uh, yeah, once you see the work, it is x minus 9 and x plus 6. Sorry if you can't see that. So, and one of the special tri or one of the special um, trinomials you will get, you could get, is x squared plus 24 plus 144 this is an example of a perfect square because um, 104 uh, square root is 12 so this is kinda easy we just need to find the we just need to find the square root of this and that is 12 and we got our two values it's x plus 12 and x plus 12 I think that's it Yep, that's it, and that...